Looking forward to your drive? No. You, you really need the yellow tape? You want people to like notice you don't have doors? There's, it's a fuse box. Yeah, but like people are now gonna know you don't have doors on because there's a big yellow like... Oh, really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, it, it's only around. about 200 miles. Oh my god. This is so scary. What's the worst that could happen? What? I'm about to embark on probably the scariest drive of my life. What are we doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god, this is so weird. This is so weird. I used to drag back here in high school. <laughs> what have they done to me? This thing is so sick. If we can make it to the highway, I think we'll be okay. That thing sounds so good. No more blind spots. See ya, dude. Don't rub, don't rub, don't rub, don't rub, don't rub, don't rub. Didn't rub. Oh my God, I'm so scared to get on the highway. I'm like scared, but excited. So hat, do not, I have my hat extra tight. Oh, there's traffic, why? Oh my God. Orlando's to the left of me. I'm nothing but smiles because I can't believe what I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm kind of scared. So it's like that giggly, like, what am I doing? Now I'm in the middle of traffic. I don't know where the guys are. They left me. They left me in a merge. I don't know what to do. I don't have mirrors anymore. Oh my God, I don't have mirrors anymore. <laughs> I feel so awkward. I'm just gonna drink my pasta. My high school introvertedness is coming out right now. I was gonna make a move and then it didn't happen. I'm making a move. Go! This, <laughs> this GTI thinks I'm trying to race him. Come on! I've driven a thousand horsepower cars and nothing feels quite as adrenaline rush as doing this. Like, I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal because, you know, Jeep doors and stuff do this all the time. But when you have this much open space on each side, it is terrifying. Hopefully I don't get pulled. That would suck. Oh my God. The wind, the wind is carrying my car. It's throwing it everywhere. I was generally upset when we kind of ripped off the doors. Like it was hilarious, but at the same time, it was such a nice cruising car. And now it's better, it's much faster, but it is still kind of a shame. My red leather interior, I can't I, I can't show it to you right now, but it's, it's flapping up and down. It can't take the wind. So I'm pretty sure that Cadillac never are indeed this. What's so funny is that nobody notices it until they get right next to you. So everyone's like, oh look, it's a limo, and then they really see what happened. So Rob's car became the ultimate symmetrical Isuzu with 144 in the side, a stick figure family, dogs on it, and a whole bunch of other crap. We hit it with a sledgehammer. It was glorious. Hanging out at Ultimate Auto was fantastic. But hopefully the cover of darkness keeps us out of trouble. So car guys are giving me thumbs up. Everybody else just looks like disgusted. I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable now. It's been about 30 minutes, but oh man, it's gonna be a long trip. So lost a piece of interior. Get out of here. Ah, ah. My dash piece is falling off. I might have to pull this off. Yeah, I'm pulling it off. this 
is a dumb. Hold on. <laughs> this is 70 miles an hour in a limo with no doors. I'm going the speed limit on this highway and it feels so scary. The wind literally goes through the cabin and holds it back. It drafts so bad. I have the pedal to the floor that it will not go any faster. It's slowing down because the wind is coming through and hitting back the back of the car and holding it back. All right, I have to go to a toll. Oh! Uh. Oh, look, I got it. Jeez, this is so scary. Okay, we made it to a service plaza. That was the sketchiest thing ever, and we still have two hours to go. <laughs> so, Ferretti decided to give the Cadillac a whirl. We traded places, and now it's doing something. Yeah, we're about to find out what's wrong with it. Okay. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't really indicate anything. I didn't hear any knocking or anything. No, I, I didn't hear any, I didn't see smoke. I didn't see anything like that. I think I may have just run out of gas. I think so too. Cutting in and the out. gas gauge was really weird because it never looked like it went down. So. Well, yeah, it just went under a quarter. So do you wanna, I think, just push me? I'm gonna push you, that's right. Well, this is gonna happen. Shoot. All right, here we go. Pushing. So, I've never expected to do this in real life. I thought this was only a Forza thing. Oh God, there's a guardrail. I gotta avoid that. Hold on. Get back on. Oh, ow. Barely up. All right, there we go. Got to find that consistent pedal feel. So me and Rob decided to trade places and uh, cause it wears you out. I don't care what people say on the internet. It physically drains. It's a lack of doors that it's kills It's a lack it. of doors. You go at 70 and it feels like death. And it's so cold. So we decided to trade places. Common courtesy by Mr. Ferretti. And due to that... I'm wearing a funny hat. He's wearing a funny hat that keeps him warm. No white smoke. There no white smoke. Nothing. And the engine could turn back on and off. I ended up cutting power. We're on the side of the Florida's turnpike here. You see there, it's... Uh, we're uh, just outside of Jupiter, and luckily Florida's Turnpike has like giant gaps between yeah. exits. Yeah. We just happen to be like two miles away from Jupiter. Yeah. Uh, Dom's car here is rocking out. Um, I got a little bugged out that the cops all took a, a hard stare at us hey. when we pulled into the last rest yeah, area, we which is out. why I'm like, all right, let's just keep going. You uh, made the right decision. But I, I had over a quarter of a tank of gas. I didn't expect it to be the like out has of to be off It's got to be off. You're good. Did you skip the toll? So the nearest gas station. We're hoping it's gas. We hope it's gas is apparently five miles. How you doing? Good. Good. Oh. That one? Yep. Perfect. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Retrieved gasoline. Ugh. They didn't know if they had cans or not. I almost had to take two two liters and just just get rid of it and fill it up with two liters. Go Azuzu, go! I have no idea how fast I'm going. Okay, I am back at the other toll plaza. Please go down, window. Come on, come on, come on! Oh my god. Oh god, it's too far away. Let's go. 
Uh, I come bearing gifts. No, I just need gas. I know. And we got a fan it's my gift. to help out too. Thank you, David. He's provided us with fuel. Oh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> So pro. Wait. That... I just want to see the reaction of the man who caused this. I I'm just hoping that's actually the problem because I was like, I. Oh yeah, no, it's sputtering. I can totally hear it not idling and running perfectly. Is it sputtering? No, it's not at all. It's running smooth. Yeah, like if, if it's not the problem, because David said he had the problem earlier where it was cutting out, but he, he just like said give it a half throttle or something like that, which I don't give it full throttle anyway in these things. It seems to be fine. I mean, uh, the disc changer won't stop though. <laughs> it, just it just keeps going like this. What does the gas gauge say? Uh, a little under half. Oh, it's it's got like five bars. Rest area? I didn't even see one. Uh, he means like gas station. Well, that one was nine miles. Oh, it was nine miles. Nine miles. Yeah. And it, it felt like a it felt like a haul, but it was mostly because I was just trying to get back. So. You gotta tell me what you think of my car. I tell you one thing. When I call a limo driver, <laughs> he shows up chicks. in this thing. What happens? <laughs> Make sure you buckle up. <laughs> This is, this is South Beach right here. You got oh, a couple of chicks yeah, in bikinis man. driving in that oh, thing. Oh, yeah. That's hot, man. Thanks. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> David to the rescue. He okay. made it to a gas station to put more in. Now I'm three quarters of a tank. Drove pretty well over here with the three gallons that they dumped in it. The gallon that they dumped behind it. But I think we're going to make it to Miami. Hopefully this thing's down there because this thing is going to be pimp in Miami Beach. And it's now 11 o'clock, so we lost about an hour on the side of the road. We're getting there. It is so cold in this car, I cannot even tell you. What's that? Did we get arrested? No. Did any of the cars get impounded? No. A successful I am day. Astonished. Yeah. Uh, every cop we passed, I'm like, oh, they're gonna get us. Oh, they're gonna get us. Oh, that one went. Whoa. I was like, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, not, not too soon, too soon. I know. Like as soon as we merged into the highway, cop right by Disney World. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, tomorrow more in store. I want to thank Panjo Marketplace so much for making this trip possible and basically letting us go crazy with these cars. So make sure if you don't know about the Panjo Marketplace, it's going to be, this car is going to be on it. So if you're interested, go for it.